Well, Bukumu, it's not that uh, we forgot about you. We know that uh, you are very close here in New York, uh, very close to us. Mm -hmm. Um, what lessons can you and your fellow youth draw from uh, the experiences, of course, uh, in the so-called Arab Spring and more, perhaps uh, more recently, really, um, the election in Zambia that uh, defeated the incumbent uh, uh, President Rupia Band and brought, in fact, uh, to State House a new man, Michael Sata. No, I think it goes back to one statement that I said earlier when I said nothing about us without us. I think as young people, we are beginning to take ourselves more seriously, mm -hmm. which is another important thing is what is our mental attitude towards our surroundings, towards the kind of change that we can make. And then when young people see each other, I mean, it's a few people in Egypt, a few young people in Tunisia who decided that this is going to be our movement and then they got other people to follow. So as a young leader, when you see yourself with a passion for change and with something that really when you wake up in the morning you're like this is the way I want to go then what you need to do is then engage other people and this is why I say that uh, the social platforms enable us to do that they enable us to engage the other young people who we might not have engaged before and so I think this is the lesson for me is that as young people we are taking ourselves more seriously we know where we want to go uh -huh. and so because we are aligned and we know the direction where we're heading it is easier for us now to mobilize us Ourselves and organize ourselves in a way that now we can see change actually happening in front of us. Time is 